I think I'm late to the party because today is Saturday. Yesterday was Friday and also a disaster day for Windows users. And also the celebration day for blue screen of death for memers. Just in case if you don't know what happened. So on Friday, millions of Windows devices were crashed with the blue screen of death death but you don't have to worry about your personal windows computer because this only affected the big corporate companies like banks hospitals airlines or maybe you need to worry a little bit because now those companies won't function properly if you go to the bank for a cash out you won't be able to receive it unless if they have fixed the issue now the funniest part is that this was caused by a security software so there is this company called crowdstrike which i never heard about until today when this disaster happened so this company provides a security services in simple words it's like a antivirus so there is this service provided by this company called falcon uh, which uh, again is a security service like antivirus that big companies use so what actually happened was Recently, they pushed a new update to their security service and that new update just crashed the entire computer and gave the blue screen of death. We stop breaches. Now they need to change this title to we break system. Yeah, again, as I said, this is funny that a security software is crashing your system. This is actually funny. This is actually because of uh, this service is actually running on a kernel level. So any software that runs on kernel level, uh, if it crashes the software, the entire system will crash. The windows will just simply won't work. It will give you the blue screen of death. So that's uh, the simplest way we can understand why this happened. Now, even crazy thing is that it doesn't get fixed automatically. You have to fix it manually so you can do it by booting your windows device into safe mode and then you need to find this driver file and then delete from the system it sounds really simple but how many of you or us know how to boot into safe mode and then find this file even i don't know <laughs> okay uh, i probably need to do some google search and then i'll be able to do it now even crazier thing is that you know big corporate companies won't let you do this there are many restrictions on the corporate windows devices like you can't uh, install softwares you can't visit certain websites because it's not your personal computer so it's made for work only so even if you know how to do it you can't do it because you're restricted from doing that and again as i said uh, this does not affect the personal computers any personal computers unless if you use the crowd strikes services which i highly doubt that you use i don't think so <laughs> so there are actually tutorials on the internet how to uh, fix this issue boot windows into safe mode yeah okay and then go to this directory and find this and delete it again as i said it sounds simple if it was uh, on like personal computer no problem it's a company's device so you can't really have the permission to do all these so some it guy needs to get into your uh, device and then they will fix it yeah happy uh, blue screen of death day <laughs> you know the internet people are making memes of this now this one is funny waking up as linux user today <laughs> look at this <laughs> every single device is like broken i wonder if this happened in my country i doubt what is this uh okay <laughs> oh man okay that's it that's it but this was a you know one of the biggest computer crash event that i witnessed actually i don't know if these numbers are accurate like 8.5 millions i mean that's a lot a lot and the good thing is that, again, as I said, this is just on the corporate side. Or maybe this is also a bad thing because uh, now the banks will not work or hospitals, 
airlines because all the devices are broken your personal computer is safe there is one favor i need to ask you guys i don't know how many of you are gonna watch this till the end maybe i, I don't know if you are here thank you just listen to me so there is this game called valorant which has a anti-cheat that runs on kernel level called vanguard so the crowd strike service falcon also runs on kernel level uh, so it can protect you from malware, viruses and all that. So if anything goes wrong with these kernel level uh, drivers or softwares, it's going to crash entire PC. Now, the favor uh, that I want to ask you is that I play Valorant and I had my PC crashed multiple times when I was playing the Valorant. Uh, like it will completely freeze sometimes i if i count i don't know how many times it's probably like almost like 10 times now it doesn't happen like all the time regularly but once a month or twice a month it happens that my pc just freezes completely or just goes into the uh, blue screen of death i don't know if this is because of the Valorant's Vanguard or maybe there is some other reason maybe my CPU is being used at 100% and then maybe something happened and then crashed you know Valorant is actually a CPU intensive game so maybe that was the reason my PC crashed maybe uh, Vanguard is the reason my PC crashes sometimes when I play Valorant I don't know so did this ever happen to you like you play Valorant and sometimes your PC just freezes or uh, like crashes, something like that. Right now, I actually don't have Valorant installed. I have completely uninstalled it just to do a test. I'm going to be playing other games, other CPU intensive game like the Minecraft. There is nothing better than Minecraft to stress the CPU, I know. Okay, so let's see i'm gonna be playing minecraft instead of valorant and let's see if my pc crashes if it doesn't crash then it's definitely because of the valorant and its vanguard anti-cheat software i don't know just do the comment did this ever happen to you uh, or maybe it's just me and yeah that's it for this one hope you enjoyed it if you have any questions or have any suggestions for me you can always do the comment and we can have some chit chat in the comment section too yeah that's it i'll see you in the next one take care of yourself and have fun bye, -bye.